Hola, mi gente. Joe Barreto back with you at the Credit Card Connection. I'm so glad you can join me. Well, mi gente, if you guys recall, back in February, I made it a point to visit a number of local banks to get the information straight from them about how they treat their customers, what offerings they have for them for personal and for business, and credit card offers as well. And those banks were Capital One, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, and Citibank. Well, today, I'm going to talk to you about two of those banks because I've had a number of viewers and subscribers ask me for updates about those credit card offerings that I mentioned back then. So I'm going to start off first with Citibank. So I spoke with Felipe Peralta, who is the assistant vice president um, at the branch here in Paramus. And I spoke to him about whether or not the Strata Elite was coming out anytime soon. So, you know, he kind of looked at me like, what do you mean already? You know, we just had a new card and I get it. And we spoke about the success that the Strata Premier has given them when they dropped back in May. Now, if you recall, when I went and saw them in the winter, they said it was going to be a later um, opening for that card. They actually pushed it out earlier than expected in May. And the card has actually has had some success. It's been able to garner attention because they actually added protections to the card. Um, the multipliers are solid across the board. And a lot of people have been signing up for it. So what City has done, according to him, is they push back the date for the Strata Elite, which would be their most premier card to come out either in the fall or closer to late fall. Um, their release date was going to look at the beginning of August, but because it's a success of the premiere, they figured that they're not going to rush it through. They're going to kind of, and I'm going to date myself here, but they're going to let the Strata premiere like rock it out and just, you know, go with it because so many people have been signing up for it. It is a solid card. Right now, it is my most used card. In addition to just trying to meet the sub for it, for the, the spend requirements for 75,000 points, the three points that it gives me, you know, and, and food and dining, you know, supermarkets, things like that, gas, EV charging and so on. You know, those are strong multipliers. So right now, City is just saying, OK, we, we got a winner right here right now. So we don't need to rush out the elite. He did tell me that when the elite does come out to also expect the business version of a new city car to come out now. He wasn't clear if that was going to be the Strata Premier version of a business card or the Strata Elite version of a business card. But nonetheless, City's desperate and needs a business card. That's one big gaping hole that they have in their system. But look out for that card. So I've been waiting. If you're trying to hold off on applying for cards because you thought the Strata Elite was coming out next week, as it stands now, not only with Felipe, because I wanted to make sure that I had all the information. I also called this, the Citibank credit card um, customer number and spoke to a supervisor there who told me the same thing. There's no hard and fast date for a release date yet for the Strata Elite. So I just wanted you guys to know, as soon as I find out, I will let you guys know. I don't like to speculate on these things. So I, I went to the branch, I called online, and that's what they gave me as of today. And today is July 8th, Monday, July 8th, as I record this. So as of now, the Strata Elite, no firm date, but look for a late fall, early winter release, according to City. The next card is, and the next bank actually, is Wells Fargo. So I reached out to my contact, Ileana Soto, back at Wells. And um, she again, indicated to me when I said, hey, is the Wells Fargo Autograph Beyond card coming out? She goes, wait a minute, Joe, you came here a couple of months ago for the autograph journey. I said, yeah, yeah, you're right. And, and I did. And they told me that it was going to be a mid-March release date and they were spot on. The card came out March 10th. So she told me, look, that card has just done well, not as much as we thought, but what's hindering them, and she admitted it, is that there's transfer partners are lacking still. So they haven't rolled out new transfer partners yet. 
So it gives people pause to apply for a new card, especially after they've already rolled out another card, which caught everybody in this space, um, you know, just out of whack because they could not believe that Wells within two and a half months rolled out the Attune card. And the Attune card, for those of you that don't know, is more of a niche lifestyle specialty card almost, if I say, because it's the only card out there that really will give you in their categories, and their categories are extensive, even for pet shops, barber shops, beauty salons, you name it, and you're getting four times for every dollar spent, and for a no annual fee card, that's huge. So similar to City in their thinking, right now, Wells, and not only did I go to the branch here in Hackensack, but I also called the Wells customer service for the credit card because as you know, I got the autograph card. Um, I called them and spoke to supervisors so that they can just confirm whether or not this card was coming out. And they laughed because they said, look, we've already pushed out two new products in three and a half months, which is a lot for any bank or issuer to do. So right now, again, today, Monday, July 8th, the autograph beyond card from Wells does not have a solid date. They actually told me one thing that I found very interesting. The guy kind of let it slip, but I caught it and then I repeated it to him. And, you know, he kind of said, yeah, yeah. So they said they were going to do a rollout for their current autograph customers for um, the Wells Fargo Beyond card through either an, a personalized invitation email or a regular old school mailed out invitation with a QR code so that you could log in and apply for the card before anybody else when they roll it out. So I'm wondering if Wells, because this will then be their elite card, right? If they're going to try to make it like even more elite or wanting people to apply more and, and really want it to be the it card by then sending out invitations first. So, I mean, that seems to be going on a lot lately with these invitations for cards to be the first ones to get it and apply. Just think of the Robin Hood Gold, which I just posted a video, which I put the link here, which I canceled my application for because it wasn't for me. That was my mistake. One hundred percent. But it seems like Wells really feels that they're on a good roll right now, first with the Journey card, then with the Attune, and now with the soon to come, you know, Autograph Beyond card, that they're willing to then make it almost, you got to get invited first, they'll do that for a couple of weeks, and then for their current customers, and then you could apply for the card online or in branch. I also asked them if there was if there was any talk of them having an uh, you know upgraded in branch bonus where they would give you, let's say, since the journey came in, I believe at sixty thousand points. If there was like an eighty thousand point beyond card or ninety thousand point in branch, nobody would give me an answer for that. But I asked them anyway. So mi gente, if you're trying to apply for the beyond, you're gonna have to wait. Um, they have no clue, according to both the online customer service supervisor and in branch manager, they could not give me that information. So I want to thank the viewers and the subscribers for reaching out to me, you know, in the community tab, uh, online or through the videos themselves that I posted, like when I got the autograph card and so on, asking me about these banks and when the new products were coming out. I really appreciate that because I want to bring you back the information that you're looking for. And I just don't want to speculate. I want to make sure I do my homework and reach out to them. So reaching out to City, you know, both in branch and online, the same with Wells. I feel comfortable in saying that the release dates aren't solid right now. The only thing that is going to be that it will come out later this year. City are probably a little earlier. Wells pushing it out further because they put out two products in the last couple of months, but also Wells trying to be more elite and trying to put out, you know, invitations to, to apply for these cards. So mi gente, like always, 
You can be anywhere else. You chose to be here. And for that, I thank you. But more than anything else, mi gente, I thank you for giving me the privilege of your time. Until next time, mi gente, take care.